Welcome to Indie. I'm going to show you how to create and manage your projects. So to get started, just click Project Portals on the left side, and you can click Create a New Project. You can use our template workspace that includes every tool you would need to complete a project, or you can start from scratch and create a project name. You can add a project description and then just add your client and choose when the project date will start. And if you have a specific end date, you can optionally add it. You can also add a project icon if you want to. You can use emojis or even upload your own project icon. This would be a great spot to add your client's business logo if you wanted to. And then just click Save. Once you're in your project workspace, this screen gives you an overview of everything you've created. I have a series of tasks that I've created. Once I start tracking time, it'll show up down here. Off to the right, you have a private note. Think of it as your Apple Notes where you can add anything you want, like important ideas or creative ideas. It's only going to be seen by you, so you can put whatever you want in there. Now up here are all of your tools that will help you create a project. And if you notice, it's the same tools that you have on the left side column. You can manage these tools from both views if you would like to. But the reason you should manage these tools from your projects portal is because it keeps all of your files, forms, invoices, proposals, tasks organized within this specific project. That way you won't have a huge list of tasks that are all for completely different projects. It's especially helpful if you're working with multiple projects. You can just click on the project you need at that moment and immediately see all of the tasks that are associated with that project. If the client portal is turned on, you can send real-time chat messages. But when the portal is off, your clients and collaborators will get your chat messages via email. And any of their replies to that email will show up here. Up here, you can add your collaborators, and each collaborator has a different role that you can assign to them. So I have assigned John Doe as a client. However, I could also assign this person as an admin. And if I assign someone the admin role, that means they can fully control the project settings and they can also add and remove people from the project workspace. If I assign them in the client role, that means they can see all the files that have been added to this project. It also means that once the client portal is enabled, they can also participate in real-time chats. And with the collaborator role, this person can directly collaborate on projects with you. They can also participate in group chats. They can even create and manage their own tasks as well as time tracks within the project. And like a client, they can also see all the project files that have been added to the workspace. And you can also remove anyone from the workspace at any time. Then if you wanna add anyone else to the workspace, just click Manage Access and you can click to add a new contact. Up here, we have the contracts tool. Due to the sensitive nature of proposals, contracts, and invoices, these documents are private between you and the recipients you send them to. On the other hand, files will be able to be seen by anyone, and that includes collaborators. You can also manage any forms you create, invoices you generate, proposals, tasks, and any time tracks you record. Anything you create in here can be viewed by the client at any time. But if you want to keep files or contracts private to just you, then you can create them right over here. And as long as you don't add it to this project, no one else will be able to see those files. Right next to the project name, you can change the status of your project. Right now the project is active, but if you haven't started the project yet, you can leave it on to do. And when you're finished with the project, you can click done. But you can also add a custom status if a different title would be helpful for you. And if you want to edit the workspace headings, just click this icon right here and you can toggle on and off which headings you want to keep visible or which you want to make hidden. And you can also change the name of the heading if you want to add a custom heading. And the same goes for the rest of the headings. And if you want more room to work, all you have to do is collapse this little icon and it'll shrink the menu so that you have a full screen to work with. And if you want to bring the menu back, just click the icon again to expand the menu. And finally, up in the right hand corner, you can edit the project details if you would like to. This is helpful if you need to change the project name or change the description or even change the due dates. And that's it. You're ready to create a new project, invite clients and collaborators, and take command of the project. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos to make the most out of your indie experience.